Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I want to talk about the 1907 SF in Battlefield 5 for the Assault class. This gun could very well be the best gun in the game. I know, it's a pretty tall statement in a game like Battlefield 5, where engagement distances can range from 0 meters to 300 meters, and engagement situations can be anything from tanks and planes to just infantry. So calling one gun the best gun in the game is a slightly ridiculous statement. However, I could argue that there are some guns that in most situations just seem to dominate other weapons. Sure, you could find some situations where this weapon might not be the best solution to your problem at hand, but if you can argue that this gun's going to be great in most combat situations you run into, then you could certainly make an argument that it is one of the best weapons in the game. Completing all the mastery assignments for this gun was actually a pretty enjoyable experience for the most part. It's an easy to use weapon, it works in just about all situations, and so completing those missions really wasn't too difficult at all. When it comes to specializing this weapon, I would imagine most people would just use the right side progression tree. It gives you quick aim, an extended magazine, which is a must for this gun, pumping you up to 21 uh, shots per magazine. And then you have more accurate shots while moving and shooting, and finally, faster movement while aiming and moving. And so that just allows you to use this weapon ADS more effectively in close to medium range combat. Tap firing this gun, you can extend the range out uh, to a decent medium range, which really gives you a huge versatility with this weapon. Now, what are the drawbacks? Obviously, you're limited on range. You can't engage at extreme long range. You could single shot people and pelt them at super long range, but just about every gun is gonna outshoot you at those further ranges aside from SMGs. So you're not really gonna wanna focus on that too much. The other major drawback is the 21 round magazine. You've got an incredible rate of fire of 770 rounds per minute, which is one of the best things about this weapon, allowing you to drop your opponents very quickly, but you've only got that 20 21 rounds, which means you're on average, or I'd say most of the time, going to drop one person per magazine. And if you're lucky and control your recoil aim and how much you're shooting in between targets, you can get two kills per mag, but a triple per mag is going to be very uncommon with this weapon. So uh, you got to get used to the play style of killing, reloading, taking cover, re-engaging, or killing, taking cover, reloading, re-engaging, whichever order makes the most sense in the specific situation you're in, but basically a kill per magazine is generally the style of this weapon. So getting a lot of cool montage clips with this gun is gonna require, well, lots of reloading or some cool sidearm action to back you up because uh, sometimes you just get stuck in that situation where the primary weapon reloads a little too long, you switch over to the sidearm and that's what you end up doing a lot of your cleanup work with. Fortunately though, the reload on this weapon is pretty quick, so as long as you can duck behind cover just for a little bit, that should be enough time to get the reload done and re-engage the next person. The sad part is that you sometimes have to give up your high ground advantage on your opponent. Maybe you have just the, the awesome piece of cover or the best area to engage the enemies and you gotta back up a little bit where you knew you could have killed that next guy sitting there if you just had a little bit more ammo. So you just have to incorporate that into your gameplay a bit and then this gun just absolutely tears it up. It's a four shot kill in close quarters with a 770 round per minute mate rate of fire, making it one of the most lethal CQB weapons out there. And once you learn how to control the recoil and burst fire this weapon, it becomes one of the most lethal medium range weapons as well. Really the only few weapons that can compete with this one in close quarters would be a shotgun, a Suomi with the comparable rate of fire and decent hip fire accuracy. So potentially you could shoot faster with the Suomi since you don't have to ADS and you have more accurate hip fire. The Tommy gun has a slower rate of fire, way more ammo uh, and bullets to deal with multiple enemies in close quarters. So you could certainly make an argument that it's a better close quarter weapon overall. But um, the 1907 just has insane versatility and can go head to head with both of those powerhouse medic SMGs. And it can go head to head with a shotgun as well. The shotgun has got to hit its first shot perfectly on you to get that one shot kill. Otherwise, this weapon is going to clean them up before they get that second shot off. Now, because of the nature of this gun, usually being in a fast paced, close quarter, chaotic environment, you're not going to have a lot of time to sort of zero in on your target, line up your shots, hold your breath, all that kind of stuff. This is a reactionary, fast-moving weapon. I use the reflector sight on here. It gives me the biggest sight picture above and below 
Um, it doesn't have any sort of magnification to it. It's a one times magnification. You could certainly get by with a 1.5 times from the iron sights. My problem with the iron sights is that you then have the big weapon body right below the iron sights, which can often obstruct your target and your visibility, especially in maps where things are hard to see. Now, if Battlefield 5 didn't have such difficult visibility and much more spotting and stuff like that, I might consider using the iron sights a bit more on this weapon, especially when you upgrade them and get like golden iron sights, which contrast with the environment a bit better, those could actually be pretty darn useful. But just because of the visibility issues, I go with the reflector sight, and that, generally speaking, gives me the best options for close to medium range combat. It's got enough magnification, which is no magnification for medium range combat. If you want to try and extend it a little further, then that 1.5 from the iron sights can come in handy. But I certainly wouldn't put anything beyond that on this weapon. It's just going to have too much kick, too much recoil, and sort of defeat the overall purpose of this weapon. If you need to engage lots of medium to medium long range targets and that's what you're mostly going up against then you're not going to want to pick the 1907 you're going to want to pick something else entirely and some maps just won't give you the opportunity to close the distance with your target that's where just becoming a better battlefield player comes in hand and understanding that you know what even if this gun is one of the best weapons in the game if you can't close your distance within the optimal engagement range for this gun then it's not going to be the best gun and if you find yourself having to cross like the big golden fields of eros and there's not a lot of cover and a lot of medium to medium long range engagements you're probably going to want to go with one of the assaults semi-auto weapons or get a medic and put down some smoke so the rest of your team can push up sometimes you'll have a good medic in your squad who's putting down lots of smoke for you to push up but since the medic is now the only class at the moment that can put down visual obstruction like smoke grenades uh, it, you really, really need to be working with a medic to close the distance on some maps. Other maps that are more urban and have lots of debris and cover, you can usually close the distance on your own without the help of your teammates. But that's something to keep in mind. If you can't close that distance, stop trying to force it with the 1907 and getting frustrated, just use something else. Now, when it comes to controlling this weapon, in close range, I'd say 10 to 15, maybe 20 meters, you can pretty much go full auto with with this weapon you just hold down mouse button one control the recoil effectively and spray down your targets yes your fire will get a little bit less accurate towards the halfway point of your magazine but if your targets are close enough it won't matter too much you can even aim for the head a bit if you want to you can also burst fire with this weapon now as your targets get further and further away the burst fire becomes more important quick tap firing of three round bursts will give you a pretty tight grouping of those shots so a few quick bursts can actually drop somebody at range and uh, surprise them too they're thinking oh wow a 1907 dropped me at that distance it's very very, very possible. The less you move, the more accurate your shots will be. If you can throw some crouching in there, your shots get even more accurate. That's something that's become a bigger deal in Battlefield 5 that not a lot of people know about probably is that crouched shots while firing are more accurate. It's harder to crouch shoot in Battlefield 5 because the gameplay is generally so chaotic that the longer you sit still in one location, the much higher chance you have of getting sniped and taken out by somebody else. This isn't Counter-Strike. It's not a 5v5 where you know you're up against one other guy in an alley and it makes sense to go for the crouch shot. This is Battlefield where at any time there could be five to six guys looking at you. So going for the crouch shot is not always recommended and this gun is plenty of accurate from standing and even moving and shooting if you go for the right side progression tree. So to try and wrap up my thoughts on this gun, I decided to do a video on it because it ended up being that weapon that I just kept going to when I was having a game where the enemy team was just hammering us. I'm like, you know what? I need a weapon that's just going to just melt people right now. I can't peek for long periods of time. The enemy team's being super aggressive. I need a gun that's going to drop people insanely fast and just be consistently good in most of the situations I'm going to run into. And the 1907 kept coming up as that weapon. I do think it is one of, if not the best weapon in the game. It doesn't mean it's good for every situation, every map, every scenario, but for a good majority of them, I think you could pick the 1907 and do insanely well. The play style is very specific though. Again, that kill and reload process prevents this gun from being what I would consider 
overpowered simply because Battlefield is not a 1v1 game. It's a numbers game, and that slows the weapon down from getting tons and tons of kills. It's a great weapon for getting that single kill, maybe a double kill in a pinch, but beyond that, you got to reload. You have to have a decent team to try and hold off the enemy while you can finish up your reload and engage the next target. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the 1907 SF. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.